Over crying out loud, get out from under my feet. And stop talking in wood. You know I don't understand it. Now go away. Never allowed to do anything. Can't even fly on my own. Rules. Rules. It's not like I can't look after myself. Anyway, who's to know? She'll never miss me. Whee! Whee! I suppose we could have a fight again. No, I'm bored of fighting. What did you do that for? Yeah, lads. I think I just invented a new game. Throwing things. Whee! This is brilliant. The windy mug whistles. <laughs> Woohoo! I did it again. I hit something. Hang about. That's a broom. What happened to the witch? Witch! Oh, oh. Wait, stop her. If there was a witch, she'd have fallen by now. Nope! This is a stray broom, boys, and we just captured it! Ooh! He's coming round. You can't do much with one broom, though. You can't eat them. We could try. <laughs> we could burn it. We could throw something at it. Yeah, we could. Or we could ride on it, like witches do. <gasps> oh! Finger! Oh, stop! Going! Ah! Like plug does. Yeah! We could capture some more of them. Ooh, yeah. Help me, boys! Oh, save your plug! So he flounced out the door in a huff, and I haven't seen him all afternoon. He's hopelessly unreliable. But I thought if we went to the coven meeting together... Hmm. ..on your broom... Hmm. ..then we could have a good old chat. And I could get you out of a fix. No. Well, yes, that too, but... Aha! And where have you been? <laughs> well, at least he's back. I guess you won't be needing a lift with me anymore. He's back all right. But what in the woods is the matter with him? He's hysterical. Hmm. Why don't you cast a language spell and speak to him in wood? Find out what it's all about. Not flipping likely. You ever tried speaking in wood? Sawdust in the mouth? Splinters in the gums? No. I'll just try the firm treatment. Look you, just pull yourself together and cut the nonsense, or I'll give you the sack and, and sell you to the goblins. <coughs> Oh, 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 stop him! That's my makeup! Oh, now look what you've done. Woody? Woody? Oh, it's no good. I can't get him to wake up. Come on, let's go. Don't worry, I'll deal with him later. Right, everyone. If we're gonna steal brooms, we're gonna need disguises. And there's mine. A false nose. Where's Plug going? Uh, I don't know. Brilliant. Well, I'm sorry, Pong, but I still say that broom has been badly brought up. And I say it's not your business to poke your extremely long hooter into how I run my life. Well, maybe I won't bother to give you a lift next time. Well, maybe I won't bother to ask you either.
No talking. We're having a meeting here and I'd like to move on. Yes, Sharkadder, what is it? Thank you, Grand Witch. I'd just like you to check on the rule that says no brooms are allowed to fly on their own, seeing as that's what Pong Whiffies has been doing. <gasps> you should have seen him. He was delirious. And he kept babbling about goblins and kidnappers. Could be stick rot. Sometimes you get a fever with that. No, no, he was upset about something. Let me out. Let me out. Up to save them. So, seeing as the broom went missing during the day, I assume it also broke the rule about flying in daylight hours. But it wasn't my fault. He just took off on his own and. Vi <gasps> Woody! What are you doing here? What have I told you about flying without me? Bad broom. <laughs> it's in a bit of a state, isn't it? I, I think it's trying to tell us something. Perhaps you'd be better to cast a spell and speak wood, Pongwiffy. <laughs> <laughs> speak wood! Speak wood! Speak wood! Go on, Pong! Go on! Go on, Pong! No, 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 no. It'll take far too long. No, it won't. Yes, it will. Woody can explain by... Acting it out, like in charades. Come on, you, get acting. First word. It's no good. I've absolutely no idea what he's going on about. Is it something to do with wizards? Oh, of course. I think I get it. He hobbling, hobbling, sounds... I say jump. We jump on him. Right. I still want to throw something. Woody was being captured by goblins. But he was also escaping, of course, to be warning the witches that the goblins are coming to steal all their brooms. See, he's a hero. Right, girls, to the broom park. I can't believe it. She'd shut him up in a cupboard when he was so upset. Poor old Woody. I think we should go back and see if he's OK. Oh, yeah. Great idea. Then we all get in trouble. Jump! <laughs> So your broom was telling the truth, Paul Whiffy. But what's happened to our brooms? Seems like Woody's not the only one guilty of illegal flying. But they've only gone up a few metres. So, still counts. Does not. Does so. Silence! I'm trying to think. <laughs> OK, who threw that? I don't mind overlooking a bit of illegal flying just this once, as long as somebody gets punished. But making the goblins apologise to the brooms is hardly that much of a punishment. It is when you're speaking in wood. Sorry! Oh, sorry! <laughs> Ow! I've got a splinter in me tongue. Oh, hi. Very painful. I wanted to throw up. <laughs> 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 